More than 3 million views on YouTube. Journalistic luck of Ksenia Sobchak not only excited the Internet, but also interested the investigation. Alexander Bastrykin ordered the examination of the scandalous interview and, in particular, the statements of this copying maniac. Journalists and social activists draw the attention of law enforcement agencies to the possible preparation of a new crime by the man. In the one-hour-long film by Sobchak, Viktor Mohov managed to say a lot. He shifted the blame onto the victims, calling them easy women, and said that he just hit a rough patch. And the phrase about Yelena Samohina, who gave birth to three children from Mohov, looks like a new threat. She didn't have more kids. The maniac said that he was ready to deal with her again. The second victim of the Skopin maniac, Ekaterina Martinova, previously said that even from the prison, Mohov corresponded with her under a different name. After the release of Sobchak's film, he tried to follow his former hostage on social media. I really believe that no one will communicate with him and say hello, that he will be an outcast, and that especially children, women, will not approach him, because I'm 100% sure this man will commit another crime. Oksana Pushkina, deputy chairman of the State Duma Committee on Family, Women and Children, believes that it is necessary to pay attention to the protection of victims. Can victims be provided with protection? Yes, today the law allows it. And, in accordance with the law on the protection of victims and witnesses in the case, they can indeed be provided with personal protection. But the question is, how long will these victims work with personal protection? For the rest of their lives? So maybe we shouldn't watch the victims, but someone who is a real danger. According to the State Duma deputy, even freedom of speech has a limit. Such interviews violate the right of victims to secrecy, since the details of their personal life are revealed. Pushkina proposed to prohibit the released convicts for especially serious crimes from communicating with the victims, and announced the preparation of a new bill. The head of the Union of Journalists, Vladimir Solovyov, also reacted on the interview and believes that the law should limit criminals in communicating with the media. I would suggest that our legislators carefully look at this case and think about how to ban such representatives of the criminal world, even those who may have redeemed themselves, but nevertheless promote their activities and tell on the pages of newspapers and on television screens about their crimes. Sobchak published the interview with the Skopin maniac on March 22nd. The video caused a great public outcry. Journalists, social activists and internet users hit the presenter with criticism. Sobchak replied, Her film is an attempt to understand the boundaries of good and evil. Mohov was not paid and did not mind checking his statements. She reported this in her Telegram channel. The investigating committee will check him after the statements in our film. This is good and correct. It is good also because a person who thinks this way and commits serious crimes is dangerous. And that's why we kept all such statements in the film and we hope that the investigating committee will really use the materials of this interview. In the autumn of 2000, Mohov, with the help of an accomplice, lured 14-year-old Yekaterina Martinova and 17-year-old Yelena Samohina into the car. For the next four years, they lived in the basement of the Skopin maniac, which he specially equipped under his garage. This is the unfortunate place where he kept the girls. The basement is under this very garage. You can say not the basement, but the vault. Everything is done in the engineering structure. Mohov raped, beat and tormented girls. The eldest prisoner was pregnant three times. The babies were delivered by the youngest. Mohov took the children and left them at some building's entrances. The Skopin maniac was released on March 5th. After 17 years in prison, he returned to the Rezan region, willingly gives interviews and seems only pleased with the increased attention to his person.